Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the compressor overload protector assembly in an LG refrigerator. It's going to be very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new compressor overload protector assembly. The compressor overload protector assembly is mounted on the side of the compressor. It includes the cover box, the overload protector, the start relay, and the wiring harness. The overload protector is designed to interrupt the power to the compressor if it overheats in order to protect the compressor from damage. The relay assists in starting the compressor. If you notice that your refrigerator is defrosting because the compressor is not running, check the overload protector, the start relay, and replace the compressor overload assembly if needed. To remove the rear access panel, we need to take out the Phillips screws. I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver. And I'm going to lift off the panel. Next, I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver and I'm going to remove this cover. I'm going to pry it off. Next step would be removing on this uh, relay of the compressor terminals. I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to slowly pry it off. Don't get excited. Don't break the terminals. Next, I'm going to press this locking tab on the side and unplug this plug. This is the old compressor overload protector assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Now I need to point on this uh, visual difference between these two cover boxes. Uh, depends on what compressor you have on this fridge. If you have exactly the same one, then you just remove the old one and install the new one, just like it is. If you have this type of compressor, compressor box like this one, then we need to take out the guts from this one and from this one and install the new parts into the old cover box. Exactly what we're going to do right now. We don't need this. And we don't need this. So now the installation part. I'm going to install the overload into this opening. Press it in. And now we're going to install it onto this compressor. All right, now I'm going to install this uh, overload and relay. First, we're going to put on the, the relay. There's a, we're going to match this pins and the three holes here. Push them on all the way. Next, I would like to point your attention to this ground wire. We have two coming with, uh, with this new assembly and uh, if we don't have this green wire, which is connecting the compressor to the chassis, we will have to install one of the green wires to the compressor and the second one to the ground here, to the chassis. But because we already have one, we're going to connect both green wires to this screw. So, so far, we're going to go ahead and install this cover. Okay. Okay, I'm going to plug this in first. And now there's uh, two green wires. So I'm going to use a uh, Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to take out the screw. I'm going to install all three green wires. And I'm going to tighten it with the Phillips screwdriver. Make it tight. Because uh, three, three wires should be tight. Feel good. And now it's time to install the rear access panel back on. 
and match the holes and uh, secure it with the Phillips screws. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.